In this video, I'll show you how to enable a guest checkout in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our checkout store. And as I said throughout this video, I'll show you how to enable the guest checkout, but I'll show you how you can actually improve upon the guest checkout experience, okay? So let's go ahead and quickly add a item to cart. Okay, so I've just added a few products to our basket and then we'll go ahead and check out and I want to show you the checkout experience and how we've actually improved upon the default guest checkout. Okay, so let's navigate to checkout. Okay, so a few things to note is, as I said, we want to actually improve upon the checkout experience. So the first thing we should note is, okay, so when we enter in our email address, I've enabled a feature that will automatically check to see whether the email exists on the system. And if it exists on the system, then it will show a um, password field so the customer can go ahead and log back in, right? If they're a brand new customer, I've enabled the field, so it will automatically create a account for them as soon as they've entered in their email address okay so for example and let's agree to our terms and conditions okay so within your terms and conditions you want to clearly state that by them entering in their email address that will create an account for them okay and as you can see here it says your account's been created and basically to check your email for a password okay and then they can navigate to the next step okay and then on the next step they can just continue to fill out their billing details okay according to a study created by baymard almost 70 percent of all customers that visit the checkout page will abandon the checkout process okay so it's very important that we collect um, the email address up front so we can follow up with those customers okay so they can just fill in their details i've also enabled google street address again just to speed up the checkout process because we want to reduce our cart abandon rate as as much as possible okay so this is a good way to actually improve the checkout experience on your WooCommerce store okay so currently a few things to note as I said I've mentioned um, the email feature which we've seen in the previous step we've got Google um, autocomplete and so much more plus we've got this um, sleek modern design okay and this is all powered by the all-in-one checkout plugin okay so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store just head over to all-in-one checkout.com and go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. And with that said, let's head over to our dashboard. Before I show you how you can improve upon the checkout experience, I wanna just quickly show you how to enable WooCommerce guest mode, okay? So we'll just navigate to WooCommerce and then settings, and then we'll navigate to account and privacy. Okay, and then we just want to check this option here where it says allow customers to place orders without an account. Okay, and I'm also going to enable this option as well. So in an event that a customer actually has an existing account with us, it makes sense to allow them to log into that account. Okay, I'm also going to enable this option to allow customers to create an account during the checkout process. And I'm going to enable this option as well. So I'm going to enable this option here. So instead of allowing the customers to set the password on the checkout page, we'll just automatically send them a link where they can create a custom password. So again, this is subjective. It's totally up to you. You can disable this option and then it will basically just prompt customers to add a password on the checkout page. Again, as I said, this is all optional. They don't need to register an account with yourself, but if they do, and if it makes sense for your particular business, then then you might want to enable this option okay so okay so that's how you enable the guest checkout on WooCommerce and now I'll show you how you can actually improve upon the checkout process okay so assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one checkout plugin just navigate to plugins add new go ahead and upload and install the plugin once you've done so you'll see this blue suite menu here navigate to activate once you've entered in your license key it will automatically redirect you to this add-on section here and then from here, we can just scroll down and we can enable these two options here. Okay, so we can enable the all-in-one checkout and also the pro version as well. Okay, so with that being said, let's head over to AIO checkout for all-in-one checkout. Okay, so now the first thing we'll do is we'll create a new checkout form. Okay, so just click create new checkout. Okay, and then from here, we'll have a few default options, okay? Okay, so here we'll have the default fields for your WooCommerce checkout, such as the billing details, shipping details, order summary, and so on, okay? As I said, using this plugin, we can actually um, tailor the checkout experience for our customer segment. So for example, let's say, 
and we wanted to hide the company name okay so i've already got it hidden but we'll just click the eye icon here we can drag and drop and rearrange um, different fields okay and to recreate the example which i showed in the intro all i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new section here and then i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop our email field to this new section I'm going to actually create a multi-step checkout. So to do so, we'll just click this plus icon here. Okay. And then on step two, I'm going to drag and drop the billing fields, the shipping fields, order summary, um, shipping methods. Okay. So let's navigate to step two and let's actually rearrange this a bit. Okay. So first we want to show customers the billing fields and the shipping fields. Again, if it's different from the billing address. And then shipping methods, order summary and payment, and that's fine. Okay, I'm happy with that flow. So let's navigate back to step one. Also, if you want to change the step name, just click on this settings icon here, and then you can just change this to whatever you want. Okay, so we can change this to say, for example, we can say welcome. Okay, and then step two will be um, billing details. Okay, okay, so that looks fine. So again, let's navigate back to step one. Okay, so we've got our email address. So I'm gonna click this settings icon under this email address field, and I'm gonna click this option here. So whenever the customer in enters in an email address, it will automatically um, check to see whether the email address exists on the system, and it will also automatically create an account for that particular customer, okay? So because we're gonna do that, we need to add a terms and condition fields. You wanna do that anyway, but here you wanna definitely make sure you do so. So let's click this checkbox um, field here. Let's click the settings icon. And I'm just going to say something simple like um, I agree to terms and condition. And ideally, you'd want to link to your terms and conditions page. OK, so um, some HTML tags are supported here. For example, I can do. OK, so here it's actually linking customers to our um, terms and conditions and they need to um, basically check this option before they can actually move on to the next step. So you might want to set this field to required. So finally, I'm just going to add a heading here. So let's X this off and then let's add a new field. This time we'll select the heading field. OK. And now we'll say, let's get started. OK, so that's fine. We don't want to show the section name, so I'm just going to remove this. OK, so now we can navigate over to um, design. OK, and we can choose our template design here. There will be more templates um, being created in the future as well. OK, our thank you page. Again, we can choose from our custom thank you pages or we can build one from scratch. In future updates, you'll also be able to customize the checkout template as well. OK, so we'll just navigate over to settings. We'll enable this option and we'll set this as our global checkout. Let's give it a name. So we'll say. OK, so we'll just say new global checkout. For the slug, we'll just leave it blank. It will automatically generate a slug. For where it says applies to, we can set this to everyone, a particular user role, a particular user. OK, and then for our custom checkout button. So usually it says something like um, complete order. We can rename um, the text on that button. OK, and um, we've also got the option to close our checkout when certain criteria is met. OK, so we can close it after a certain number of orders or after um, a specific date. So we can also enable the Google um, auto complete street address. So we can enable this option here. I'll leave a link on screen to a more in depth video showing you how to utilize this particular function. So let's just hit save changes. OK, and now we've got our head in here and then we've got our email field, um, our terms and condition. OK, so the customer can um, read our terms and condition um, before they actually proceed. OK, so this time let's actually enter an email address that exists on the system. So let's say test. OK, so since the email address already exists on a system here, it's prompting us to enter in our password. OK, and since I actually don't know the password for this particular address, we'll just leave it here. And that's a quick and simple way to enable the guest checkout in your WooCommerce store, as well as a few additional features to enhance the checkout experience for your customers. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.